It's okay, I mean, it looked like there was two teams that probably deserve to be where they are. I mean, they're yeah. flat, very, very flat. Um, just looks like it's not much drive in the team at all. I mean, towards the second half, we're a lot better. First half, not so crazy, but yeah. I know the left five minutes before half time was like pretty bothered. Yeah, that's yeah. been story of the season, to be fair. Most games this season, I've been actually boring. Yeah, there's, there's no uh, there's no flair in the team that's so we're missing. You know? Yeah, is there any like standout performances you you saw? Or? Dale Gorman, again, Dale Gorman, quality. Yeah. I mean, if I was Michael Flynn right now, I'd put in place something to sign him in a, in a season. Yeah. You think you should sign him? Definitely. Because there's been a lot of criticism about like you know him not getting in the first team for Orient, so why should he come for us? But you think we should that's, go for yeah, him? Yeah, no. At the same time, yeah, maybe Orient have players like him. Yeah, that they maybe have not a lot of players like Zara and they are a good team. You can't say they're not. Maybe performances this season, but they have got good players. Yeah. But um Dill Gorman for me, he's one of them players. We've been crying out for a player like him. He's a similar player to like a Labadee and a Bennett, someone who just kinda of mops up and just but his passing range and his, his types of passes, he just you know we can pick a pass from anyone. And we need someone like that from midfield to be able to find them passes, which is something we've been crying out for and it's the type of thing we need. Yeah, do you think we should be starting him more like as a first team? Definitely, or? definitely. Yeah. And I, I think not only should we be starting him, we should be signing him. Next yeah. season he should be a new player. Do you expect him to or do you, do you Probably not. Probably not. No, he probably Orient will probably see his performance of us. He'll probably see if he can save same as having like Bradford yeah. and Owen Doyle, they thought, you know, we'd call them back, top goal scorer, we'd call them back, but it didn't work out. But yeah, they, I feel like um, definitely be a case, 100% Yeah, definitely. And what do you think about Ryan Anderson? Do you think he had a good game today? Or? I thought he was okay. Yeah. I mean, especially, I don't know, he, he turned into like a Paolo Maldini on the right, just yeah. whipped down the wing, mustn't off their, their, their left back and whipped yeah. in a board. It's like, bloody hell, is he being obviously a yeah. good player? I, I, I thought he played well today. I mean, obviously before then he's received a lot of criticism, but you're going to get that, especially yeah. in that league. Everyone has their opinions, but fair enough. But I thought he played well. He played well the last couple of games. Yeah. You know, I'm he, talking he, to, sorry, sorry, go on. I was just saying he's one of them players that are just in the firing line. Yeah, you know, yeah, you make one mistake definitely. and that's it. You're that's it for the rest of the season. Yeah. You're that player then. You get you get yeah. stick. Yeah, I know earlier on you talked about the performance. Do you still think like you know we're still playing that same type of football like long ball playing on luck? Do you reckon anything improved today like better passes? Maybe. maybe? Like maybe we should have spells of it. But bits and bits and pieces. You see bits and pieces, but like um, I don't know. I, I, for for a long time this season, even at the beginning of the season, I think we were scraping one no wins. We weren't playing well, but we were scraping one no wins, and we were getting results, of, and that led to our good start of the season. And that's probably why we're not in a relegation scrap right now. Because at the start of the season we were scraping wins, maybe just because teams didn't really find their form. And then now as, as the season come on, they've, they've started to find out, and then we've just kind of dropped off, and then that's why we, we are where we are. Yeah, but um, I don't know, I mean, there are bits and pieces where we do well, but there's only two couple of stand up performances this season swing at home and away. Quality, Forest Green, yeah. fair enough, they went down to 10 men in the last and of the minutes, but. I don't know, we, we, like, like I said, it's, it's no, it hasn't been too exciting this season. No. And so you expect after this game, we're going to lose, like, it's just been inconsistent again, or do you think we're going to push off this potentially, or? Like, the last couple of games, obviously, oh, we have this good win there, Pete Bradford went, oh, yeah, you yeah. think you're going to press on now, and then it just, you know, the next, you know, we're five knots down to all them, and it's like, yeah. You know, where, 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 you pour, where are we getting that from? Like, you know, yeah, where, where's that coming from? You know, where is it coming from? Where's that inconsistency coming from? Because we, we've only lost two players last season. Yeah. I mean, the same players we had last season, we had a player push. But we only lost two players, Joe Day and Dan Butler. And we replaced them with, say, Tom King. Not a great, not a bad replacement. Pretty good player. So he's near enough as good as Joe Day. And Dan Butler and Ryan Haynes. Obviously, Ryan Haynes started at the beginning of the season. We're saying Ryan Haynes who? Uh, sorry, Dan Butler who? Yeah. No, Ryan Haynes is, you know, he dropped off, got an injury and that kind of stuff. I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's, where's it coming from, you know? But, um... <laughs> Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more new book uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.